All right, Coach, introduce yourself and then we'll get started. Okay, Matilda Mossman, University of Tulsa. Talk about what's going on since last season has finished preparing for the season. Well, I think first of all, um, it's a little different because now we know a little bit better what to expect. Uh, this time last year, we didn't know what we didn't know. And, and sometimes that can be a blessing because you tend to think more about your own team and you don't worry about the other teams because you don't know very much about them. Uh, it's a little different scenario now because we know a lot about those other teams and uh, that kind of gets your attention. I think it's going to be a very balanced league. Um, obviously, it was hard to pick up a, a front runner when the preseason poll came I out. It was yeah. Yeah. And First place it, votes yeah, was kind of like, spread it out. We had five, five and one, I think, or five, five, one and one, but. Um it's also hard to pick who those bottom eight or nine teams are uh, after those top three. Uh, I think it's going to be a very balanced league. It's going to make for a great competition during the conference season. Uh, as far as our team, it's it's a lot better that we know a lot more about our team now. Um, you know, we've got great experience with uh, Celia Mayberry and Tiffany Kuznard coming back. And and Tiffany Kuznard last year was basically was rusty because she had just had a red shirt year, and uh, she's so much better now. Uh, going into her fifth season and uh, we're excited about that. It's going to give us a post presence now that we really didn't have last year. Uh, of course we returned to Leah Mayberry who's been our leading scorer forever and uh, you know it, it's special when you have a kid like that in your program that is returning that's such a great character kid that is such an unselfish player um, you know the fact that she's first team all conference I think other coaches around our league uh, see that in her and respect that uh, and, you know I'm, I'm excited that they showed her that respect um, so going into the season you start with those two players you know a point guard and a post player uh, you can do a lot of things to build around that also you got a with one year beyond moving forward, you have experience uh, at, as, as far as senior leadership and, and upperclassmen leadership is what you have, more so this year than you had last year. Yeah, I, I think, you know, you, your leadership is always better when your seniors are key players. And we only had one senior last year that was a key player. Uh, Talia and Tiffany still bore the brunt of that leadership, but they were only juniors. And now as seniors, uh, they are our two team captains. I think everyone on our team trusts those two they tr because those two are our hardest workers on the court every day. They do the right thing in the classroom. They do the right thing off the court. And so it's a, it's a great sense of our team being led by the right people. Talk about the schedule this year. Did you once you, you you knew at the end of the season what you had, what you got had coming back? Did you schedule accordingly to prepare for a conference USA? Well, a little bit. You know, so much scheduling is done a year ahead of time, um, but. You know, we want to try to do as many home games as we can. Just to, we're trying, still trying to build attendance at home. Uh, secondly, you want to play teams that are going to give you some national attention. Uh, that's why we're playing Arkansas this year. Unfortunately, we have the opportunity to play them at home. Um, you know, hosting the conference tournament, uh, that, that's a big deal for us because we can continue to build that excitement through the, through the course of the season and have it culminate there at home at the Tulsa Convention Center. Uh, we're playing Arkansas at the Tulsa Convention Center to give us a look on that court in that facility and against what will probably be a top ranked team at that time. I've talked about the team. Let's talk about you. You know, uh, how long you've been in the business. A lot of folks still don't feel it. Uh, aren't familiar with you, with you through the conference and outside? Well, I, I think as a, as a young coach, you, you know that you need to have the right people around you. Um, but sometimes as a young coach, it's hard to make that happen. Um, I think as an older and somewhat wiser coach, you're more selective in who you want around you. And, and I think uh, the staff that we were able to hire last year and who has moved forward with us again this year, I think that gave us the best chance because with Shane Coffey, Fred Castro, Brittany Brown, uh, those three are coaches who are great teachers, they're great role models, they're great mentors, uh, they care about kids, they they work extremely hard uh, in recruiting and, and scouting and game preparation. So I think we had a home run in terms of just the staff we were able to hire to mentor our kids and um, you know I, I think I think that's what made our program so successful just the people we were able to I was able to hire around me to make us look better we've talked about conference the 
preseason, yourself, the team. Is there anything else I had to mention about you know what's going on at, on uh, University of Tulsa uh, uh, campus right now? Well, you know, for people who haven't been on our campus, I think their first-time visitors are pleasantly surprised. Uh, we have great facilities. Um, we have a beautiful campus, and I think those are the things that stand out. Uh, but the really selling point for the University, the University of Tulsa is the people that are involved. When we bring recruits in, their parents, they always go away talking about the people that they met, and I think that makes us really special. 90% um, of our students live on campus, uh, two-bedroom apartments right there. You drive onto campus, park your car, you live on campus, you eat on campus, you, you, uh, you work on campus, you go to class, so you never have to leave campus. So that gives us a real intimate atmosphere, uh, and it's a small campus, so all the students know one another, the athletes support one another, and I think that's really key to the way our student athletes go support the other teams. Well, it's been good talking to you. Reintroduce yourself, and then we'll close out. Again, Matilda Mossman, University of Tulsa. This is Jerry Lee Woodley Jr. with the Kane Side View College Sports Report.